So I'm back again, and this time it's a very interesting and very different topic, which is not really. See, I'm actually picking up topics that many of you might skip, might ignore. Okay, so this is conditionals from English grammar. Okay, so uh, this uh, the, these type of questions have appeared, but aspirants don't generally know what this is because it's really very ignored, and so just. Just, just pay a lot of focus on it. Okay, okay. So, what are conditional? Conditional sentences are used to speculate about what could happen, what might have happened, and what we wish would happen. Okay, they are if clauses. If this, 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 then this, this, this. Unless this, 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 then this, this, this. Okay. So it's basically based on speculation and um, what we might. Based on more or less, um, ki uh, if I translate it in Hindi, agar ye hota, to ye ye hota. Agar ye ho, to ye ye ho. You know all that. And um, so uh, there are four types of conditionals: zero conditional, uh, first conditional, second conditional, third conditional. Okay. And um, there is also one mixed conditional, but that make it. Complicated, so we are not venturing into that. Okay, so um, uh, I'll have three parts to explanation. First is the theory, second is the structure, okay, and third is the examples. Okay, so theory of the zero conditional. See, it's general truths, general habits when the situation is real and possible, and uh, the structure is if present simple tense and after then also present simple tense like if you say if you add 2 and 2 you get 4 if you if you heat water to 100 degree celsius it boils okay so these are very much uh, what we say um, you know general have general facts okay here um, you you are using add which is the present simple tense and get present simple boils present simple heat present simple okay so just just pay attention to the tenses now next up we have first conditional okay so a first conditional um, deals with possible or likely things in the future okay remember it's for the future possibilities which are possible very much likely to happen and it includes a possible condition and a possible result structure is if present simple tense then will plus infinite then uh, if you if you look at the example if it rains later we'll stay at home if you study hard you will pass the test so here rains is the uh, this uh, present simple tense okay and we will is again uh, this future will okay and then uh, this um, you study study is again present simple okay and um, this you will pass is again for this uh, will okay it's coinciding with the structure what many of you do is if it will rain later we will stay at home not at all it is wrong if it rains later we will stay at home okay oh uh, next up we have uh next up we have second conditional um okay so in theory it's basically impossible things in the present or unlikely things in the future first conditional dealt with things that are possible but second conditional deals with things that are not possible it's a hypothetical situation and it's prob probable result uh, if you if you look at a structure it is if plus past simple tense okay plus uh, then ke baad would plus infinitive so it is if i won the lottery i would sail around the world okay um the very mistake students do is see it's the second form of, uh, it's it's the past simple a uh, form here okay so one and had a million dollars okay um 
so it's had a what's happening okay so it's had a million dollars and uh, i would buy a big car i would sell uh, what students do is they write i would sell or i would have sold no i would say i think this is what is important in english grammar i think even if you read a lot of newspapers you don't get you know uh, learn these hacks or these uh, rules okay now next up we have the third conditional uh, in theory th these are things that didn't happen in the past and their imaginary results okay and it's an unreal past it's contrary to reality okay the structure is if plus past perfect tense and then would plus have plus part past participle okay so if we if we look at it like this uh, if i had studied harder it's the past perfect then if it had rained okay then i would have okay would plus have plus participle past participle i would have passed the exam you would have gotten wet okay so i hope you guys are getting the structure if i had studied harder i would have passed if it had rained you would have gotten wet okay what mistakes people do if it would have rained you would have you know don't do all that if it had rained you would have gotten wet okay now the the last one we have um, okay i think this is oh sorry this was the last one okay guys so these are some fun to do exercises and answers are at the end okay and uh, just uh, try and uh, just, just just fill with any thing that comes in your mind make sure the tenses and the structure is right if she had studied harder remember we did we just did it it's the third conditional just 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 write in a piece of paper and just check if uh, uh, the tense is right or not and second question if i were british so guys this is the for this is the second conditional unreal past uh, were verb 3 verb 2 and uh, if i go out tonight it's second conditional so yeah just just remember the structure and fill it fourth question if you went to bed er bed earlier you would sorry um oh shit as i said the answer i'm really sorry just just just, just pretend you haven't heard, heard it okay <laughs> a uh, fifth question is a different question it's about if you don't hurry you will miss the bus which conditional is this you have to identify the type of conditional okay and uh, i will lend you my umbrella if you dash it okay it's they are easy questions just make sure you have the right tense uh if i dash you i would not beg This is again the second conditional. Make sure you fill it with the right verb. And if we dash dash enough money, we could have funded our child's education. Eighth one is a difficult one. Oh, let's see how many of you guys got it. Get it right. Do comment if you get it right. Okay, the eighth question. I just wait for. Uh, just just pause the video, and just. write the answers and just write and then just correct it i just wait for some time uh okay guys these are the answers and uh, the eighth answer is had had i don't know why i've written it like this it's had had okay uh these are all the answers and um, thank you stay tuned to law school 101 all the best for preparations